Everybody, welcome to Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. This is a roguelike game that has Blaze Blue characters in it. I'm not sure what to expect here. I don't think it has anything to do with the mainline story of Blaze Blue. I genuinely think this is just like a fun roguelike with Blaze Blue characters, but they named it after Blaze Blue. So I'm excited to see how this game will play and how I'm excited to see uh, how, you know, what references that I can match from the fighting game. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into uh, Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. It's separate, no Blaze blaze blue lore contained in this game okay no blaze blue lore at all all right we're going to the training module i guess please activate the training terminal all right your default prototype is hibiki kahaku press confirm to start your mind training those are the blaze blue central fiction portraits i, I thought they would make at least new portraits and who knows maybe in the final version because this is in, in in early access so this is strictly for like i think gameplay purposes maybe they'll add new portraits and stuff i don't know I would like to see new portraits personally. So there's some characters that are available, some characters that aren't available. Hakumen. Hakumen, Mai, Koko. So S is not available right now? That's unfortunate. So everyone except for, for S. Guess we're going to be uh, playing with Hibiki. Wow, I love the animations. Those are the glaives. Wow. Yo, these animations look sick. Dude, I love these animations. And, oh my god, they picked my favorite Hibiki color. So I imagine this is some sort of a weird post-apocalyptic dystopian setting. And you can kind of connect to Blaze Blue characters through the little robot, which is interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these. <laughs> I do love the that they use the voice lines from CF. Like, I'm, this is all very familiar. Potentials unlock new moves. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think we have to go for potential. Potentials are the skills, and the skills uh, unlock as you go. Like, very much like a roguelike, so you can build your character differently. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so it's like uh, very similar to, well, it's like very similar to like Hades and even Holocure, to be honest. Bro, this is actually really good looking. <laughs> I love this, man. Are the skills pretty much free? Are they? Ha oh, there's the cooldown right there on the bottom left, actually, below the health bar. Defeat samples for rewards. Sortiti. You know what? Let's do this one. So I imagine this is how you progress rooms, and you can choose what rooms come next. Obtain potential. There we go. These are the skills. And these are the potential that were given to me. Okay. Crow lunge. Oh! Shadow heal, basic attack, dash to use uh, to use blink. If there are glaives active, retrieve them instantly. Crow lunge. Upon taking a hit, use skill to teleport behind the attacker and pay back. Meanwhile, recover some... Oh, wait. Is this basically like 214D? Uh, where, like, you can teleport behind them and kind of attack them from behind? Ooh. And jump three times. When you're knocked away, use jump to recover. That actually can be pretty useful. I'm going to try and go for more moves. Oh, boss boss battle hello okay okay holy crap the effects there's no block button or nothing right oh my god i died i have to pay attention to my life wow okay well there it is and i gotta start over not bad okay spend ap's or mine upgrades to unlock useful effects in your mind training session okay so kind of permanent upgrades i definitely want to unlock some people so uh maybe hibiki is the only character that i need to un until like a certain point when i unlock that currency uh-huh oh wait this looks completely different different setting now you can view the video for all characters. Doesn't matter if unlocked. That's okay. I like to figure it out myself too. You know what this reminds me of? You guys ever played Nikkei? You know the simulation room in Nikkei? Where you can pick like how the next battle is going to be like. And pick the rewards that are going to be uh, coming from the next room. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Nikkei. Nikkei simulation room. Which I imagine there's a lot of games that have very similar. A very similar gameplay style. Rewards. Obtain rewards at random. Give me that. Gambu! What a piece of shit. And it gave me an achievement for that, too. Uh... I guess that's a boss.
Oh, I beat the first boss at the very least. Woo! Let's go, baby! Nice. Ah! That's as far as I go. Okay. Yeah, if it feels okay so far, my 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 opinion on like at least gameplay. All right, gameplay wise, there's a lot to be uh, uncovered and a lot to be discovered. So I am liking the gameplay a lot. There's a lot of really cool elements, the skills, the basic attacks, the holds, the dashes, all that good jazz is pretty good. Visually, looks very impressive too. The animations are no joke. I do think that the music is a little lackluster. Especially compared to like what Blaze Blue usually brings to the table when it comes to music. So I can definitely see that being kind of a problem, but we'll see if there's better music. But strictly gameplay for gameplay wise, it's freaking sick, man. I like this chill music. It's good now, but I promise you, like in the future, it probably won't get I mean you can say that about a lot of things, but it's I think the music is definitely there's a lot to be desired. You can definitely tell that they didn't really invest a lot into the OST. Seems very safe, very basic, which is fine. I don't mind it. I'll just literally put on the Blaze Blue soundtrack, turn off the music in this game, you know? One, two, or three. Chat, we'll do the Hades thing. One, two, or three to, to see how you guys are feeling. I think I'm going to go with three. It's basic attack and to jump. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it is. That is exactly it. Wow, dude, that's his DP. Oh my God, what is happening? Oh shit, dude! That fucking Tom Brady. You see, it chuck the shit, dude. He freaking just like lightly tossed it, so it's like perfect. Did I gain that? Did I do that? So that means I can get a character. What character, dude? I'm going for Noel. Like that's that's my girl. Let's go, baby. I can't believe S is not available. It's been a while, Noel. But let's play, Chica. Yes. Damn, her color, man. Whoa! Bloom trigger? Oh shit! Oh shit, girl! Oh, Fenrir! Oh my god. Her dash attack is... Dude, where the hell is this in, in, in CF, dude? I need that, dude. Imagine a dash attack like that. Bullet rain. I love that, dude. Woo Fuck yeah, dude. She looks so sick, her color. Yeah, it seems like that's 5C. Oh my god. 5C, 5B into um I can't remember what the name of the projectile was. And the but bloom trigger being that what's a heavy attack? It's just bloom trigger. Fanny do. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, barrel A or some shit like that. It's her projectile. Oh my god, dude. That's so cool, bro. <laughs> Can you play any character? There's some characters, but this is early access. So, but the, so far it's like Hakuman, Ragna, Noel, Mai Natsume, Hibiki, Kokonoe, which I'm excited to see all of these. I want to play everybody.